Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. And today I want to share with you a new type of portable charger or power bank that I found. Now in the past I have actually recommended this one. It is an EC technology. And as you can see, uh, it's just your, your basic USB power bank. You've got your two USB-A plugs there. You've got your charge indicator. Little button on the side to show the charge. And when you want to charge it, you have this little micro USB port here. Now, if you look on the back, this one is 22,400 milliamp hours. Uh, that's quite a bit. That's enough to charge a modern cell phone maybe seven times or so. Uh, but you can see that the input is only 5 volts, 2 amps max, or 10 watts. And of course the output, uh, one of the outputs is 1 amp, the other is 2.1 amps max. Uh, it's just these USB type A plugs, and yeah. So the problem with this guy, as with most power banks, is quite simply that yes, it has lithium ion cells inside and you can use it to charge your gizmos when you're on the run. The problem is that when it comes time to actually charge this guy, uh, for example this one, I plug in at night at the end of the day and it's going to take a minimum of 12 to 13 hours to charge. And the reason for that is, as I just showed this little micro USB port on here, you, the, you can only put in 5 volts at 2 amps maximum, which is 10 watts. So if you do the math, uh, 22,400 milliamp hours, 2,000 uh, 2, <clears throat> milliamps going in, blah, blah, blah minimum 11 hours, but because of the way that lithium ion cells charge, it's going to be more like 12 to 13 hours. So if at the end of the day this guy's dead, I plug him in, I go to bed, I wake up seven or eight hours later and he's like maybe two-thirds of the way charged, not even, so I have to wait until the end of the next day in order for him to be charged so I can take him with me. So I've been looking for a new type of battery bank and I have finally found one that not only supports fast charging the devices that you plug into it, but it also supports fast charging of the power bank itself. So the model I have found is this RAV Power. And again, it has this cute little button on here with the charge indicator. It's about halfway charged. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference here because we have an input, which is again your micro USB port, maximum 10 watts, five volts, two amps. You have your two type A USB ports for charging things. They call them iSmart, I'll show you why in a minute. And then you have this guy, and this guy is the secret. He is a Type-C USB port. So let's look at the specs on here. We can see that it says uh, model RP PB058. The battery capacity is actually 26,800 milliamp hours, which is quite a bit more than the EC technology. And you'll see there it says micro USB input uh, 5 volts, 2 amps. So again, if you use the micro USB input on this guy, this little dude, focus, thank you, <clears throat> to charge, you're going to end up with only a 10 watt charging rate. But this is where it gets interesting, because that type C jack that I showed you is both an input and an output. And as you can see, it says DC 5 volts 3 amps, or 15 watts, uh, 9 volts 2 amps, or 18 watts, 15 volts 2 amps, or 30 watts, or 20 volts 1.5 amps, which is again 30 watts. And then you have the USB, uh, the iSmart USB outputs, which are, it's kind of curious, that's the two type A ports here and here. Uh, as you note, it actually says DC 5 volts, 3 amps total, each 2.4 amps max. Well, that's kind of shaky there because um, that's going to be like 12 watts. And for most type A ports like that, you're, you're only going to pull 2 amps max. So... Um, these are a little bit wimpy. If you use one of these, you're okay. Uh, but this is the guy that we're really concerned about. So why is this USB Type-C so important? Well, it's because uh, if you watch my video on quick charging, uh, modern chargers don't just provide 5 volts and say 2 amps, i.e. 5 volts the USB voltage. They actually talk to each other. Say your smartphone and the charger uh, will actually communicate with each other and the charger will actually send uh, more current at a higher voltage, thereby charging your gizmo faster. That's how quick charging works. So not only does this guy allow you to actually charge him faster, you can charge him up not in 12 to 13 hours, but he has a higher capacity than the EC technology, and you can charge him fully in four to five hours, 
which I have done several times, and indeed it does actually charge the entire thing in four to five hours. So plug him in at night with a USB fast charger, and four or five hours later, uh, you're ready to go for the next day. Now, one word of caution, you may find other power banks like this, and they have this little USB Type-C port. You have to be very careful because this was the only one that I found that supports quick charging as an output, but also supports quick charging as an input to actually charge this guy. Very often what happens is you have a power bank, it has a Type-C port on it, and that Type-C port is an output only. It can't be used as an input. In fact, uh, many of them, the only way you can charge it is with the little micro USB port, and some even have two micro USB ports, so you need to actually plug in two micro USB cables to two different chargers, which is totally crazy. This is the only one I have been able to find that supports quick charging uh, via the USB Type-C port as an input and an output. Now, the problem is, okay, so this guy charges in four to five hours, but you're going to need a Type-C charger that's going to uh, have enough capacity. Enter this little RAV Power charger. Now, I should note that uh, RAV Power is not giving me any money for this. This is not a sponsored type thing. Uh, I just went on Amazon, I looked, and I finally found these two guys, and I was super happy. So, um, this is a 65 watt charger. It's the beefiest one that they offer. This is a European two prong type plug, so obviously, if you're in North America, you'd have a, a normal plug on it. And again, it has this iSmart Type A USB connector, and we have this PD or USB power delivery, and as you can see, that's a USB Type C port. So, all you need to do is you buy this charger and you buy this little power brick, and then you buy a cable like this, which is USB Type-C to Type-C, and boom. Uh, you can plug this guy into here, this guy into your, your power brick, and you're going to quick charge him in uh, about four to five hours. Now, the reason that you need one of these is because most of these sort of uh, uh, generic power bricks, you know, USB uh, charger-y things, that you plug into the wall socket, they don't actually supply a whole lot of power. And this one is particularly interesting because as you can see here, uh, you can see the model number and the power delivery, the PD output is 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 12 volts at 3 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, 20 volts at 3.25 amps, 65 watts max. Now what that means is that this guy can deliver 15 watts, 27 watts, 36 watts, 45 watts, or a full 65 watts. Now the iSmart output, the little Type A port, that one's going to be either 15 watts or 18 watts. That's this little guy. Uh, now I have actually used this as a quick charger. I've tested it using the USB-C port for all kinds of devices, including uh, a couple tablets, a, uh, a Galaxy Tab S3, I tried it with a Tab S6, I tried it with a a Xiaomi Mi 8 uh, smartphone that has a USB-C port on it. I tried it with an old Nexus 5X that has a, a USB-C port on it. Every device I have tried uh, that I've used this thing for or the, the battery bank here that has a USB-C port, no matter what kind of quick charging it uses, this guy supported it. Uh, in fact, it even supports apparently iMacs at the, or, or Apple devices rather with the whole 65 watt rating. So basically, if you're looking for a charger that can quick charge all your devices and they have the newer Type-C port, which is on all kinds of devices, including even the latest Kindle Fire tablets, um, yeah, this is probably the guy you want. And of course, once you have your battery bank, uh, you can buy a couple other cables. You can get a, a Type-A to micro-USB to use with, with these guys for older devices. Uh, you can get a USB-C to USB-C cable, as I've shown, uh, and I also have a Type-A to USB-C cable, so I just buy a variety of cables real quick when I get this guy and this guy, and boom, I'm ready to charge all my devices, and Bob's your uncle. Now, a quick note, uh, this guy, this EC Technology Power Bank that charges very, very, very slowly, he's about $33 on Amazon.com. This RAV power, which supports both quick charging of your gizmos that you're connecting to it, and also it supports quick charging of the batteries inside here, 
this is $59 currently. So it is quite a bit more expensive than the EC technology. Uh, I really like the EC technologies. I have a couple of them, but the only annoying thing is, like I said, it takes so darn long to charge them. So um, this is not cheap, but it's definitely worth it if you need a very, very quick charge. And finally, this RAV Power uh, wall adapter slash USB charger, um, this guy is about $39. And again, that's not cheap. You get these, you know, a version of this free with every tablet or smartphone you buy, blah, blah, blah. This one actually works with every single device I've thrown at it. It supports the latest and greatest quick charging standards. Of course, you have to have a USB Type-C connector on your device to, to use those quick charging standards. But um, going forward, everything has a Type-C connector on it. So um, this is at least for the time being, this will basically be the only charger you need to charge all your gizmos. Uh, as I said, if you just have a couple extra cables. So if you're looking for a good battery bank that supports quick charging of the batteries itself and quick charging of your devices, look no further than this guy. I am super happy with him. Uh, that's about it. I'll put links down in the description to all these goodies. For more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.